Alright guys, welcome to the video, and in this video, as you guys read from the title, this is going to be more about post-meet thoughts, what's happening next, and of course, I did hit some lifts after the meet, specifically a really good deadlift day that I really enjoyed, and uh, I decided to put some footage together for you guys to see. The lifting is going great, guys, I just want to say, couldn't be happier with how my body feels, you know, some people often after a meet are pretty burned out, but I haven't really needed to deload at all. Um, right back at it and we're gonna go from there guys so after around probably less than three months of training guys focused training focused hard work we finally had this meet you know this sort of event that was supposed to be the culmination of all the work that I put in over all this time and to be honest guys I can't like stress enough how amazing it was I'm incredibly grateful that you know everything went well first of all and I'm so happy for the progress that I made it was absolutely amazing so you know what's up next because up till now you know one of the main points of my channel was getting to this meet journey to this meet. well guys you know this meet was an awesome milestone but we're looking higher because if you guys were there in the beginning you'll know that this meet was just a mere way of qualifying for nationals because guys, I don't remember what the qualifying total was for nationals, but I smashed it. You know, 1147 total is more than enough for me to go to collegiate nationals. And I am almost certainly going, guys. And collegiate nationals is on April 6th of 2016. Right now, it is the 8th of December. So that's almost January, February, March, April. That's almost exactly four months, guys. Four months to see what I can do. Now, my goal is for this me is to have around a 1200 total. That's about 50 more pounds added, but that's, I think I can do better than that, but we're gonna shoot for around a 1200 pound total. Um, exactly. Right now, the plan is, is that I wanna see what else I have in the tank. Um, before school ends, which is gonna be in about two weeks, I wanna see if I can put up higher numbers because although I feel my squat was a pretty good representation of where I am right now, I feel that my bench, I had some left in the tank and same with my deadlift. So in about two weeks time, we're gonna PR again just to see where we are as a benchmark. And then I haven't exactly decided guys what programming is gonna be up to there because I'm probably gonna run another three month cycle as I did for this meet. That seemed to work really well. See, I could do PH3, which is a big option that I'm heavily considering, but I'm also thinking about it and I'm really enjoying the programming that I put on myself, the combination of Candido programming and also Control Block and all the bunch of other things that I've made into my program. And I have a few more ideas of how I can make the program better, and I'm not quite sure yet because it's either PH3 or the new variation of the program that I'm currently thinking about right now. I, you guys will find that out soon enough, but either way, whatever I do choose to pursue, I do have faith that it will work out pretty well. Because both PH3, PH3 is an amazing program and I know that it's worked amazing results for people, but at the same time, I have a lot of faith in what I've been running right now. So if you guys have some thoughts about that, let me know, especially for the people who've been watching my training for a little while. Let me know what you think about the way that I've been progressing and tell me if you think it's a good idea to hop on a PH3 13 weeks out or if I just should stick on a three month cycle that I've already done. All right guys, so the plan is, is that hopefully by the time this next meet comes around, I'll be able to hit around a 500 pound deadlift. I'll be able to hit around a 440 pound squat and I'm, this is a little bit of a stretch guys, but I think I can do it. I, in four months time, if I can hit a 300 pound pause bench, that would be fucking amazing. Somewhere between 290 and 300. 290 I think is very doable. Um, when I test my PRs again in basically around two weeks time, I'm expecting a 275 pause bench because 265 at the meet was pretty easy. And I'm expecting around a 475 to 485 uh, deadlift. So I think it's all very, very, very doable numbers, guys. I think that if I put my mind to it, I can achieve it. Um, other than that guys, uh, the next training block is, you know, whatever we do decide, hopefully everything will go well. I hope that you guys stick around for the journey because San Antonio, Texas, we're gonna fuck shit up. You know, the Rutgers powerlifting team, we're going there to make an impact and hopefully the team as a, as a single unit will advance on to Worlds because that is what the goal is. 
Worlds, Collegiate Worlds is going to be in South Africa this year. And I'm most likely not going because we have stronger 83s right now because only the top two in each weight category go. But I'm still, still praying that my team makes it. I think we will. And I'm wishing those guys luck because one day, hopefully as early as next year, I can make it that cut and I can go on to Worlds. So uh, that's all I wanted to say in this video, guys. Just a little bit of ranting, a little bit of thoughts about how everything went and what's to come. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoying where the channel's going. And without further ado, guys, I'm going to sign off. You know, um, leave me any thoughts you have and peace out.